I gotta do this by request. She's your queen to be. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God and this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate, instituted of God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, read it out loud. Do you know, all right, so dear Martin, today is our wedding day. It is finally here. It's been a long time coming. I can't believe that my fashion show partner would end up being my husband. You have blessed me in more ways than one. You helped usher me into my salvation, which is one of the main reasons that my love for you is so strong. You are the man of God. You found it in your heart to do what um, to do what God wants all his children to do, which is to bring more people to him. I pray that on today, we remember our past and love towards the future. You are my best friend. Hey, babe. I just want you to know I love you so much. And I'm so happy that you can make me my wife. And I'm grateful for that. We're going to stand next to each other today. Look each other in the eye and tell each other I do. Because I do. I love you, babe. First of all, y'all, let me get some commotion for the bride. Let's get some commotion. Hey. My sister, cute, y'all. Reagan loves without judgment. I believe that's what makes her such a great teacher. I think oftentimes when we hear someone being gullible, it's often referenced as a bad thing. Gullible can also mean trustful, okay? In Proverbs 3, 5, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not into your understanding. Merriam-Webster also says that it could also mean uncritical. In Romans 8, 1, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Be like Jesus, y'all. Can I get an amen? Period. It also means malleable. One definition is having a capacity for adaptive change. Now, I don't know much about marriage, y'all, but I think you're gonna have to be pretty adaptable, Reagan. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Marcel, I'm Martin's cousin. Um, I've known him all of his life. Martin, I love you. And I am so glad to have watched this man, this young boy grow up into the man that he is today. Martin, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife until God by death shall separate you? Please respond by saying, I will. I will. <laughs> Reagan, do you take this man to be your wedded husband until God by death shall separate you? Please respond by saying, I will. I will. <laughs> Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I will. I do. Therefore, since it is the agreement of Martin and Reagan to be husband and wife, please join right hands and repeat after me before God and these witnesses the marriage vow. 2 Timothy 1.7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Let me get, let me get some amens, okay? Thank you, okay? Reagan has always walked with this indestructible attitude, and I envy how she can be so unbothered, but back then I didn't know what I know now that we are divinely protected by our one and true living God, Jesus, our Jehovah, our Prince of Peace, and our Promise Keeper. Can I get an amen? amen? Thank you. But the Bible does say that he who findeth a wife yeah. findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor. Yeah. You are here because your favor was waiting on you here. You know, he came to me before he came to her and ask me for her hand. And again. I, Martin. I, Martin. Take thee, Reagan. Take thee, Reagan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. I pledge thee my faith. <laughs> I, Reagan. I, Reagan. Take thee, Martin. Take thee, Martin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. 
to have and to hold. From this day forward. My faith. My faith. Reagan, I love you. I'm so proud of you, and it's been such a blessing to witness the woman of God you blossom into. You inspire me every day to be true to myself, to keep God close, and to never stop chasing after my goals. I want you to remember this. <clears throat> keep God first. Seek Him first in everything that you do. Speak life into your marriage. Speak life into your marriage. Speak life into your marriage. Martin? Yes, sir. You may salute your bride. Before I present them, we have a time-honored tradition. As our bride and groom jump, they physically and spiritually cross the threshold into the land of matrimony. It marks the beginning of their making a home together. It symbolizes the sweeping away of the old, and the welcoming of the new. It is also a call of support for the marriage from the entire community of family and friends. The bride and groom will now begin their new life together with a clean sweep. The leap they take together over the broom is also symbolic. By taking the leap, they make a gesture of dedication to working together through the tough times ahead as well as the easy times. They leave behind the past and jump into the future together, secure. Yeah. In yes, sir. You did it. Yeah. yeah. So as they get ready to jump the broom, it is my honor and my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Martin Lee Baker III. Now, before they jump, we're all going to do it together. We're going to say one, two, three, jump, and they're going to jump. This is a community. Here we go. One, two, three, jump. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Martin Lee Baker III. As toast to long life, love, and blessings to the bakers. Thank y'all again for coming out. I'm going to make the announcement that we about to change the atmosphere up in here. So, DJ, go ahead and play the beat. Put your hands up. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. This the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up, yeah This the anthem If you get up and get it, put your hands up, yeah This one for the winners if you with me, yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me, yeah This one for the winners if you with me, yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me, yeah This the anthem If I give you my word, that's what I stand on Loyalty and trust is what I stand on Family and love is what I stand on Talking big, big I knew that one day that I could make it, baby I'm talking how to stay smoking without a sense Now we get up and do it like we got a big ring It's getting serious, I know you're curious See some losses through the process, set me furious But I got eyes on the vision, can't get delirious Fall in love with the game and then you marry it I think I married it This the anthem If you rockin' with it, put your hands up Yeah, this the anthem If you get up and get it, put your hands up Yeah I'm going to close right here, Reagan, I'm going to drop the hyphen. I'm going to drop the hyphen. Because yeah. I told Reagan, yeah, you can marry him, but it's going to be a hyphen in there somewhere. <laughs> Baker, Ross, Ross, Baker, hyphen something. <laughs> Mark didn't know that. She said, ooh, daddy, I don't think Mark's going to like that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to drop the hyphen, Miss Baker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to drop the hyphen. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Thanks for showing up, y'all. All right.
Mark and Reagan, today you join your separate lives together. That I've ever seen you. Your face is like a superpower. You're the sun and I'm the flower. Oh, I prayed for you. Oh, I cried for you. I can't believe we're here at last. Token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this prayer. With this prayer. I be with I be with In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Sir, yes, sir. Show me 